the Bruce family will get their $75 million beach back thanks to a new California bill. This property was stolen from the Bruce's. We're returning what was stolen, what was rightfully theirs. Charles and Willa Bruce purchased Los Angeles beachfront property in 1912 and turned it into a resort open to black customers. It was taken away from them by the government in the 1920s and they were barred from buying any new land in the area. The Ku Klux Klan was involved in harassing them and when that didn't drive them away, the city government decided to take the property under the guise of eminent domain. The land that was originally sold to the Bruce's for $1,225 is now valued around $75 million, bringing up the concept of generational wealth. I said, let's look at the Gettys, let's look at the Rockefellers, let's look at the Fords, let's look at the Bushes, let's look at the Kennedys. That's what generational uh, wealth could have looked like for the Bruce family. For Anthony Bruce, great-great-grandson of Charles and Willa, it's about more than money. When we were last in Manhattan Beach, the Bruce's, it was a terrible situation for us. With Governor Gavin Newsom's signature, Bruce's Beach will actually be owned by a Bruce. And LA County may just have to pay them rent. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm TC Newman. Shalom. I want to start by giving all the praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai Bashim Rachakwadash. The ones to the elder apostles of the great Muslim who were well, and as always, peace and salutations to the tabernacle of David, the Ophel elect, scattered all the four corners of the earth. And I just want to do a quick video. You know, I had a couple a couple precepts come to mind. You know, watching this little quick story. And uh, you know, hey, like the scriptures say in Psalms, the sixty second chapter. It says they only consent together, you know, they only consult together to cast to cast us from our excellency. You know, this devil, he never wanted to see Jake doing well for themselves. You know, never, you know, liking to see us, you know, uh, self-sufficient, you know. But that, it all goes back to the curse where, you know, Jake would, uh, you know, they would labor, they would build. But another nation would uh, consume it. You, know, you would have to leave everything that you build or earn and leave it to other people. You know? But, uh, you know, right now, this devil is trying to seek to please the poor. And that's in uh, what, Job, the 20th chapter. I'm, I'm actually get that. That was one of the scriptures that came to mind. But, you know, what I found interesting was this, uh, I don't know if he was the family attorney or if he was, uh, you know, some kind of activist, he kind of gave me Benjamin Crump vibes, but nevertheless, you know, I found it interesting that he was, you know, speaking on those uh, international bankers and how, you know, they have generational wealth that they pass down to their families. And he said that this particular family, the Bruce family, could have had the same, you know, gener uh, same type of gener generational wealth. Well, that, that, that's not the case, not for us, not for Jake. You know, the scriptures say, curse be, uh, let, let me see if I can go to the curse real quick. But the fact that he was blasting those families on national television, that shows you that, you know, it's not, it's no longer a secret. You know, these uh, families, the international banking families, you know, uh, their net worth, who they are, how they're living. You know, that's the, uh, the, the portion of, uh, of, of the wicked who prosper in the world, the ungodly that prosper in this world. All right, let me get a Deuteronomy 28 and let me go like down to the curse. It is, uh, Deuteronomy 28 and, uh, Let me get 15, it says, but it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy power to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. And one of those curses were, curse shalt thou be in the city, curse shalt thou be in the field. 
Cursed shall be thy basket and thy store. Cursed shall be the fruit of thy body and the fruit of thy land and the increase of thy kind and the flocks of thy sheep. Cursed shall be Cursed shalt thou be when thou comest in, and cursed shalt thou be when thou goest out. All right? And, uh, you know, that's usually what happens, no matter, you know, how much money Jake makes in their life. Because they're under the curse, you know, they put they, they, they wages in a bag filled with holes. You know? And Jake usually have nothing to pass down the generation to their families. But on the flip side, the wicked, the devil, that's exactly what he's able to do because, you know, this is his world. He's in power. Let's go to Psalm 17 and 14. And it says, from men which are thy hand, O Yahweh, from men of the world which have their portion in this life and whose belly thou fillest with thy hid uh, treasure, they are full of children and leave the rest of their substance, their wealth, to their babes all right and that's 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 esau edom mainly the uh the super rich they got properties all over the world you know and with time of course it it, it appreciates it increases in value you know well esau you getting ready to uh vomit that up because most of everything that you have is because you know, you, 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 you stole it. You committed uh, uh, robbery, violence. Okay. You raped, robbed, and, and, and murdered for it. And that's why eventually this kingdom is going to be translated from one people to another. Let me get that in Sarai 10 and 8. And and you and you devils, y'all didn't took way too much. You know, not just with uh with Judah, you know, with their hard work, their uh labors. That tells you that a wisdom of Solomon that, you know, they want um um a wisdom of Solomon five and, and one, that they will not um basically they will not regard um our labors, you know, roughly paraphrasing. Uh Let's go to Sirach um, 10. 10 verse 8, it says, Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. So that means you got to give up everything because you got it by rape, robbery, and murder, and thievery. And Ironically, according to the law, you know, when um, when you steal, you know, from a man, when you steal his property or you cause damage on his property, you actually have to repay him double. Read uh, Exodus, the 22nd chapter. You know, you got to restore that man double for what, you know, what you took from him. You know. Because what you may have taken from him was valuable and it could have increased in value. And Esau, you done took everything. Yeah, all of Bab all of America, you took. That means you got to restore wealth to, you know, not just Judah. You know, all the lands that, you know, Judah actually um had. You know, they had their own little communities and whatnot. But you, you know, you took from Gad, you took from Reuben, you took from Issachar, you took from all the tribes, man. And then used our our slave free slave labor. So you gonna have to rightfully soon come up off of, you know, what you got stored up for yourself. And that's gonna happen, you know, when the Lord comes back and take the kingdom. Let me get a uh, Job twenty, like I uh, mentioned earlier. So Job twenty verse ten. And never mind that devil, you know, that, that signed that uh, bill, you know, you know, returning or restoring that property back to that, that family. Because Newsom, that, that he's one of the sons of Satan, man. All right, he single-handedly has caused California, all of California to become a damn shithole, a, a dystopia. 
It's, it's definitely no man's land. Nobody, people that live in California are leaving. They, it's a mass exodus. It just became, you know, ridiculous. You know, too much uh, communist rule, too much tyranny. You know, too much taxation. It, 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 the cost of living is, is sky high, too high. It's a, a lot of people that's homeless. So, you know, this devil, he'll do things like this, you know, pull these type of stunts to try to win back, you know, the, the, the hearts of the people, especially Jake. You know, Jake is easily sold, you know, when you give him a little trinkets, when you give him a little symbolism, you know, Jake, uh, uh, Jake will be loyal to you, man. But like the scriptures say in Sirach 14 and 7, if he do of good, he do of it unwillingly. But at the end, he would declare his wickedness. That man is still the devil, man. And y'all going to see it pretty soon. There's a reason why they were trying to um, recall this devil. And of course, you know, they they uh, committed fraud with that situation. And he ended up, you know, st staying around. Because obviously it's the, the powers that be is backing this guy. But anyway, dealing with uh, the scripture, this is uh, Job 20 and 10. It says, his children shall seek to please the poor, and his hand shall restore their goods. You know? So, so now, you know, they get this property back. It's worth $70 million, $75 million today. But it, they bought it for 1225 which shows you, um, you know, the, uh, how far the monetary... Uh, uh, value has gone you know it, it shows you how much the dollar you know was worth and what it could purchase back then versus now so every other you know town that Esau took from Jake and you know the, the, the property value has gone up you know how much do you think Esau owes Jake now Esau will never be able to uh, repay Jake. That's why we got to get him for a thousand years. And they got to pay back double. It says, let me jump down to verse 18. It says, that which he labored for shall he restore. Matter of fact, let me, just, let me jump up to 15. It says, he has swallowed down riches and he shall vomit them up again. The most high power shall cast them out of his belly. He shall suck the poison of asp, the viper's tongue shall slay him. He shall not see the rivers, the, the floods, the brooks of the honey and butter. That which he labored for, you know, he labored, you know, from his youth. For shall he restore, All right, you're going you're gonna to give it up, and shall not swallow it down. According to his substance shall the restitution be, and he shall not rejoice therein. All right. And uh, another word or another term for restitution is uh, reparation. Uh, you can see it right here. It says Rest the restoration of something lost or stolen to its proper owner. Okay. And down here it says compensation, recompense, reparation. So we're going to get our, our true reparation when we in the kingdom, man. All right. So, you know, I thought this was, uh, you know, an interesting story. And I just want to, uh, you know, do a quick response to it. All right. And, you know, Newsom, he's the damn devil, man. All right. That little deed that he did, that, that, that can't cover up how much of a demon he is what he's doing with the whole West Coast. All right, matter of fact, the latest thing I heard, you know, to, to, to tighten up the squeeze on, 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 on the people, mainly Jake, is now um, he has signed a, a, a bill where um, basically uh, you got to have a pass. And I'm talking about the, the, the salt. You got to have a sauce pass. All right, the sweeping measure requires the shots where everybody entering bars, restaurants, nail salons, gyms, and even, you know, if you want to go to the game, you want to see the Lakers play, well, you got to have, uh, you know, you got to have a, you got to prove that you got the shot, man. You know, 
So they're following in the footsteps of uh, NY. All right. So like I said, that's why I, I quoted the scripture in Sirach 14 and 7. If he do of good, he do of it unwillingly, but at the end he would declare his wickedness. All right. This devil is never capable of doing anything good. All right. So anyway, I'm going to close out. I'm going to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Shai. Until the next lesson, Shalom.